right, so here she is, the former UFC strawweight champion, Thug Rose Nama Yunus. Amazing what she was able to do against Joanna Yim. J check times two. Another big spot for the 115 pounder here tonight. And John Corey, as impressive as that first young J check fight was, I believe the second one was even better because it showed the true evolution of Rose Nama Yunus. To be able to stand for 25 minutes and outstrike Joanna Yim, J check was truly, truly something special. Initially, she was one of those fighters that was trying all kinds of things and wasting actions. Right. But now, as she won the belt, you saw her really find herself, and it showed in the second Young Jacek fight. Thug goes, Namagunas. Grace is the proving ground this time. She wants to leave with the belt. So here's the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Misha Tate. And in this second UFC stint, she had visions of making a run at 125 pounds. Her body just didn't respond against Lauren Murphy. It certainly did against Julia Avila late in 2023. A bonus winning performance for Misha Tate that got her back on a championship trajectory. And for me, it's all about the appetite for MMA knowledge and training. At this stage of her career, she is so committed to the cause She's not prize fighting. She's not fighting for money. She's fighting for further greatness, and that's why she has shown up in another major, major fight here tonight. Now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Third man in the octagon for this one. All right, we are underway. Here is Doug Rose Nama Yunus with Trevor Whitman in her corner. She's not afraid to let the fight come to her. Certainly has some first round finishes to her credit. Angela Hill, UFC 192, comes to mind. But this is a fighter who gets stronger as the fight goes on. We'll see how Nama Yunus approaches things here in the early go. Oh, great block there. All right, so Thug Rose Nama Yunus mixing it up pretty well here in the early going with her kicks and, of course, that patented jab as well. Yeah, she pops that jab. She's so fast. And you can hear her corner telling her, Rose, stay on the jab, stay on the jab. She's so good at maintaining distance, and she's very tall for the weight class. Rose Nama Yunus has now figured out how to use her length to her advantage inside the octagon. Oh, beautiful talent. It was a good night if that landed. Nice jab by Namajunas. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, full-on brawl. I mean, give us an ooh-wee or something. I mean, ooh-wee. These two young ladies are really going after it. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Great slip. 
Even though her opponent's throwing, she's not finding much success. She's stepping over the mound here. Tate getting that ground and pound going and landing. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Tate. Constantly a moving target. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under his neck to finish the fight with a choke. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. And there she goes again, landed another strike on the ground. Oh, and transitions right into side control. Tate's right back to the full mount. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet, and the crowd is absolutely eating it up. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up, and now she's got to let the hands go. Misses with the right hand. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking the top and down low. She gets to the single collar tie. Look for her now to drive uppercuts up the middle to do damage on our pole. Under 90 seconds to go. Oh, nice job by her there to land getting another takedown. I got to think if you're going high school wrestling practice oh. next week, they're going to be watching this one. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say this is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state tournament has nothing on what this young lady's going through. Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here as she blocks another set of shots there. She said it was going to be a focus, get better defensively. She's completely all the way into it, and now this could be the beginning of the end for her heart. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play because this fight is about done. Let me see that hook now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. All right, so we're on the feet at least for now, but you gotta think, at least from her standpoint, another takedown attempt is in it. She's definitely gonna be shooting another takedown attempt. It's where she wants to fight, and I really do applaud her for knowing where her strengths are and making sure she is fighting right there. Great defense from her back. 10 seconds to go in round one. The ground and pound strike. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, grab a seat. Breathe, breathe, relax. You're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Listen, I need you to keep your hands up. We've been here before. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, here we go. This should be good, man, for as long as it lasts as our next round gets underway. I think she's still hurt from what happened in the previous round. She's still hurt. She's tired. She's been battered and bruised over the course of this fight. How does she keep herself in the fight without getting pissed? 
I can't believe y'all choose to do this for a living. Oh, it's insane. It's so insane. I like this much better. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to show up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. All right, so different rounds, same narrative, and it's the wrestler's hands, not her takedown. She came here to box them. Yeah, she came here to box, John. She told us that we were going to be very surprised at how good she looked in the stand-up. And to this point, she has proven that. But I wonder how soon we can expect a level change for her to try to take her opponent down. Because ultimately, you always go back to what you do instinctively. And we know that's a wrestling. Now trying to trap an arm. Arm is very tight. Also, how about that? Looked pretty tight, but she gives Work. up on the submission. Come on, Nama Yunus gets back up. Man, she is just relentless. Unbelievable. Significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice switch. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Beautiful transition. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nama Yudis. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, right into Mount. Tate gets back up again. She got that kick to the body home. Once you get to take that many kicks. She's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that was going to fight. Well, the hook has been her primary weapon of choice tonight. Let's see if she sets it up again here. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple different ways. And it's starting to pay dividends for her. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Oh, poor attack. Yup. Oh, that looks tight to me. It's locked in. Wow, looked like the arm might end the fight. Instead, she gets out. It was over. And that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to this young lady in her submissive defense. Tate's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, Trevor Whitman's got to like that. Beautiful combination from Rose Namajunas. Rose Namajunas is so solid. I mean, she's so good with her footwork. She knows how to set traps. She's a phenomenal striker and one of the best female fighters in the UFC's history. Well, we haven't really seen her famed jiu-jitsu game just yet, but of course it is not working. Don't fix it, and she has realized a ton of success with her striking her team. Every day, you have to get better. One percent, they say, as an athlete. She has shown that she got better every single day in her training camp because we don't see her chasing takedowns as desperately as we normally see. She is comfortable in the stand-up, and she is winning these striking exchanges. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, beautiful by Rose. <laughs> she blocked that one. Well, this is surprising to me. I mean, I'm no expert, Daniel, but her wrestling is so good, and yet she hasn't attempted a single takedown tonight. It limits her approach. It limits everything that she can do. She's such a good wrestler that it generally will set up the strikes. It will generally set up everything that she wants inside the octagon. But right now, she's a one-dimensional fighter. When you take away that best skill, she's not as dangerous. kill shot that's going to finish tonight. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there, 
cut. It looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. Well, her eye is really in trouble now, and you know the opposition's gonna continue to target it. We'll see what they can do with these 60 seconds. There's nothing better than seeing the damage on your opponent's face. And if she couldn't defend before, she's gonna have to be real good on the defensive side this time, because now right. her opponent would be even right. more aggressive right. seeing the damage on her face. Round three of a possible five. She continues to punish the body yet again. Just what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing. Oh, big left. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. going with the hands with the feet tonight and that cut is really a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicep. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moved. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so hard. Oh, another one. Oh, man, I thought that was going to connect, but once again, she's just super effective at slipping strikes. Middle small movement. None of her actions are big. It's slight movement right, slight movement left to find herself for her to slip a strike and come back for a counter on the return. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike length. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Oh, nice straight there by Nama Yunus. Her corner men are losing their minds. She got stunned by that strike earlier in the round, but just hasn't gotten herself mentally or physically back in the fight. You never know how your fighter is going to react to adversity. Right now, she has not done a good job. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, you need to nice up. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there and you land something and you may think, wow, that was hard, your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. All right, so she attacks the body yet again, and now you really see those bruises, Daniel, starting to accumulate. Well, she did everything to do that. And she was able to stay the course, even when something got blocked, even if something got defended. Blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. With work. Well, as a play-by-play -play guy, I try to stay out of the prediction business, but I think we're going to see another takedown attempt here soon. Oh, absolutely. You see it playing itself out over and over again. She enters. Whoa! How about these two going at it? Beautiful straight right hand. Under a minute now to go. All right, so watch for her to set up that hook here again. We were in our fighter meeting on Thursday. She said the fans are starting to call her Madam Lineker. She sees it as a compliment. She sees it as an absolute compliment because she is in love with that specific punch as much as John is. She doesn't even know John, but she says if I can take something from John Lineker is that I want to sleep someone with a big hook shot 
from either stance, conventional or southpaw. It looked like maybe she was going to set up the side kick, and there it is. She did a good job of getting that foot up and right to the target. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without it. Final seconds of round three. Well, Nami Yunus's eye is closing up. She got that single collar tie. Wow. Seemed like she wanted out of the clinch there. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so what a performance by her there in that round, DC. I know you sort of marveled at her confidence when we sat down with her on Thursday. That was the best round of her UFC career right there. I mean, she told us that's exactly what we would see. And she's gone out there and delivered. Hurt her opponent on multiple occasions. Just a confidence in her striking that I don't think we've ever seen from her prior. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of it. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are Ready. going to another round. Ready. I thought it was over. It. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. I think we are the only two men sitting in this arena as we have arrived at round four and we enter the championship rounds. A huge, huge five minutes coming up for these two young ladies. J.A., I couldn't have imagined. Thank you the shot she's thrown tonight for opponent turn. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. She's So straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. And now she's in mount. Nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground upon. Money in the bank. Beautiful. All right, so another nice sequence for her there. You've talked a lot about her fight IQ, but this is pretty simple, right? You batter your opponent upstairs. Stay with it. She did it early. She was able to get to her spots, land the shots that she wanted to land. Her opponent did nothing to change it. And now she finds herself in a comfortable position where she has to just keep targeting the face that is so swollen right now. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. She's got side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her here. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person that you have a lot of out. Arm triangle attempt by her here. Arm triangle. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. That was nice. All right, well, through no lack of effort, she still hasn't been able to get the submission. you got to credit the defense at some point. Absolutely. This young lady is so present defensively when she's under attack. She never panics. She's so calm under pressure. She seems to be a person that can't be submitted. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response. Oh, my goodness. And that'll do it. Rose Namajunas finishes the job. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Fog Rose Narayunas! All right, so another big win for Thug Rose Nabayunas. There's so many.